Okay, so I'm making stuffed pepper. I stuffed this with a delicious, oh, a little bit hot. I wanna have to just dump it. I just took this out of the oven and I lost my other part of the film so that may never be recovered. Hello, please. And let me just dump this here. Oh, what a mess. What a delicious mess. It's going to be delicious, trust me when I say it. See the rice that fell over? Well, I'm working with one hand, what can I say? But everything in here tastes delicious. It's my stuffed pepper. I'm making this for Charles because he is special. He is my inspiration for making this channel. This channel is really his channel. Maybe one day it'll be the channel for everyone else. Nobody's really watching it. I'm not promoting it. Maybe one day I will. But anyway, this is my stuffed pepper. The tomato sauce. I started it here. And I'm really hungry. This tastes so much better than what you can ever imagine because everything I've implemented in this dish, starting with the basmati rice, I put in uh, ground meat that was sauteed in onions and peppers and cilantro and mint leaves and all that. Then I put in the, the tomato sauce, which has just a dash of sugar, but it had, was made with uh, sesame seed oil and, and uh, what do you call it? Uh, you, uh, all, all, all the good stuff. It wasn't made from scratch, but I do implement it to the point that it's almost as if I did it myself, quite frankly. The flavor is not uh, unique. It's unique to me because I of the things that I added, fresh crushed garlic, etc. And so I haven't had a green pepper in a while. I keep getting the yellows, the reds, and the, the kind of small. And I miss the green pepper, so I decided to make myself a stuffed green pepper and dedicate this to Charles. Here's to you, Charles. All of my videos, as you know, were inspired by you because I always want you to know that someone does care Think about you daily and love you.